Hey everybody, it's the start of a Memorial Day weekend and it's Friday, May 25th, 2018. This is News Break. I'm Alex Bennett. We got to get to the news because we got a lot of it. Harvey Weinstein turned himself in to New York City police today and will face charges of sexual abuse. He's set to appear in court later on, but uh, Weinstein's expected to be charged with assaulting Lucia Evans, who told investigators he forced her to perform oral sex on him in 2004. Uh, you know, uh, you, you, you talk about this as being abuse. Look at Harvey Weinstein. Anybody that would have sex with him mounts to abuse. Uh, Morgan Freeman. Now, who would expect Morgan Freeman? That wonderful voice. That sweet man, well, he was accused of sexual harassment by eight women, and it's alleged that Freeman harassed women and made sexual marks about them on films. Nothing really heavy here. Uh, they, they basically said that he, uh, he came on to women at press junkets and made uh, dirty jokes and sexual remarks and harassed women, but there's nothing about him raping them or getting blowjobs or anything like that. Freeman says, anyone who knows me or has worked with me knows that I am not someone who would intentionally offend or knowingly make anyone feel uneasy. I apologize to anyone who felt uncomfortable or disrespected. Uh, that never was my intent. In this day and age of Me Too, however, I guess he is automatically guilty because it's kind of like a Salem witch trial. House lawmakers overwhelmingly voted $717 billion for defense. That's not what makes it so interesting. What makes it interesting is that part of that appropriation was for Donald Trump to have his parade. No word on how much that's going to cost. Families of two students who died in Parkland, Florida shooting are suing the gun maker. American Outdoor Brands and the gun seller Sunrise Tactical Supply where Cruz purchased the AR-15 style weapon that was used. Uh, judges first have to clarify, however, if they can be sued by the victims because the 2001 state law in Florida prevents government agencies from suing businesses over legal manufacture and sale of weapons. Good going, Florida. You're living up to your reputation. President Trump on Thursday posthumously pardoned Jack Johnson, the first black heavyweight boxing champion who was convicted for violating the Jim Crow law called the Mann Act that was taking women across state lines, specifically white women, across state lines for immoral purposes. McDonald's shareholders uh, voted against a proposal for paper straws. Yeah. Everybody's been yelling. They want to get rid of the plastic straws at McDonald's. Well, just look at those islands of plastic out in the uh, Pacific Ocean. Part of them are McDonald's straws. But the, uh, the uh, uh, stockholders voted, eh, we, we don't think that's so important. So uh, it received support from less than 8% of the shareholder votes. Sweden passed a new law on Thursday that says having sex with someone without explicit consent can constitute rape. The new law says the lack of verbal or explicitly clear consent can be categorized as rape. Good for Sweden. A California jury Thursday ordered Samsung to pay Apple $539 million for infringing on five patents for design and utility features of the original iPhone in its own phone sold in 2010 and 2011. Yes, I always felt they looked and operated suspiciously like an iPhone. And guess who's the most valuable media company in the world now? Disney used to be. I mean, they got all that Marvel stuff and all those cartoons, and they, uh, you got all the Star Wars stuff. They were the most valuable media company, but they've been supplanted. It's reported today that Netflix has moved into the number one spot. Well, we have a picture today for you, and I, I just love nature, so I, had, I saw this picture and I just went, look at this. This is the Kilauea volcano. This is, look at, look at that. You, if I, and if you look right at the, down about the left, almost bottom of the film, there's a house there, okay? And uh, it, it just shows the power and the majesty of nature. I mean, as horrible as this volcano exploding has been for the local residents, it is spectacular 
in the way that it looks. And finally, we go to our clip of the day from last night's citizen panel. This is going to take a little longer than usual because what happened was Phil Meyer, who was our right-wing person on the program, uh, the night before it said, you should stand and pay tribute to your national anthem. So I said, okay, sing it. And I said, I can't sing, says Phil. And then I said, well, then say it. And he couldn't say it either. And finally, we had what is a patriotic moment. And if you don't want to listen to this, stay in the locker room, okay? Obviously, you're not going to even recite the Star Spangled Banner because you're incapable of doing it. Well, I'm always behind a camera well, when it's oh, being... Oh, I see, uh, I see. Now, Ray... Oh, Ray, yeah. Oh, Ray, go ahead. Yes, sing, yes, Can yes. you sing the Star Spangled Banner? Oh, say... Let's see. No, oh, right. say oh, different. They can't. Oh, say. It's a terrible. Can it's a ter you see by oh, the uh, dawn's early light for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare. Here comes the hard the part. The bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave very good very, very good Thank you very much, Ray. And, but you yeah. forgot you forgot two words in that what play ball and that was from last night. That was our uh, <laughs> our tribute to the United States of America, and that's that song that's been so controversial lately. Hey, listen, uh, we're on here every night, Tuesday through Friday, and uh, they were right there on that address you see right down there, uh, youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live. That will take you to a page with the player for the video. Uh, there'll be a countdown there. And when it's on, uh, it will suddenly pop up, okay? You can actually tab that on your browser and have it there all the time. That would be really nice. We're other places, too. We're after the fact. We post on Facebook. We post on YouTube. We post on iTunes. Uh, we post on live stream. And uh, as I always like to say, we're around town more than a cheap suit. You can find us in a lot of different places. Go to gabnet.net and you can get all the information about where you can find us. Hey, listen, this is Memorial Day weekend. Have a nice Memorial Day weekend. Enjoy the sales. And we'll see you again next Tuesday. We're not going to do one on Monday, okay? Have a nice weekend, everybody.